Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start a new series called Special Requests. As viewers have been commenting on the videos that uh, we've been providing, and we provide those free of charge. Uh, we have no sponsors. We are endorsing no products regardless of the hat I'm wearing. I just, I like this hat. I like the company. But uh, this is the service that we pass along just because that's what we like to do. So, uh, in special requests, if you have a feature or a question that you would like us to show uh, in a video, the solution to your question, just uh, you know, post a comment to either uh, the video on a YouTube channel, or you can go to uh, Facebook and do a search for Atlanta Estimator, and you can uh, ask for a uh, request there, make a special request. Or if you're a LinkedIn uh, customer and you find us on LinkedIn, you can make a special request there. So today's special request is by Azadeen, and he writes, Thanks for sharing. Please, how to draw an accurate box area by clicking first point and entering width and height? Well, that's a good question. We really hadn't gone over some of the capabilities of Plan Swift in using it as a drawing tool. Now, that's not really what it's designed for, but um, there are a lot of times when I get uh, dimensions from a customer and I want to draw it up in Plan Swift because I want to use the tools that I've created in Plan Swift. So we're going to show you just what Azadeen is looking for and how to take a blank page and or any page far as that goes, and draw up dimensions and boxes and all kinds of fun things in Plan Swift. So uh, let's get started. Okay, we've got a couple of examples here of boxes and a circle that I've drawn in Plan Swift. Uh, one was using the uh, dimension icon or tool up at the top here next to your scale tool. And the other ones were, were used using the uh, segment tool uh, for doing takeoff. So we're going to show you how to do both of those. So first, the easiest way to create any kind of box or rectangle uh, is to use a dimension tool. And why the dimension tool? Because it does not record anything in your plan swift. In other words, uh, when you use one of the segment or linear tools, it's thinking that you're taking off something. So it wants to record it uh, in feet and inches and the like. So if you're drawing something so you can then use Plan Swift to take that something off, then probably the dimension tool is the best way to go. So this box you see here, I'm going to show you how we do it. So I'm going to first go in there and highlight it all, hit the delete key, and we're going to redraw it. First thing you want to do is, obviously, if you created the blank page, it'll be scaled uh, when you create the page. Uh, if you're in a page that's not scaled, you'll need to scale it first. So after it's scaled, go up to and click on Dimension. You'll get the, uh, the uh, cursor will change to click next point. So uh, really doesn't matter what corner you start in. Click it once and then Go to your keyboard and pick the arrow in the direction you're wanting to go. So if you're going right, right arrow key, up, up, down, down, you get it. So I'm going to hit right arrow key. And it brings up a dialog box. And it's asking, okay, how far right do you want to go? I'm going to say 25 feet. If I do nothing else, it's going to draw a line 25 feet to the right. Now I have some options here with angle and other things we'll get to later. But right now, just simply, I just hit enter. And I got a 25 foot line. Now because it's the dimension tool, it stays in dimension until you hit escape or you hit the stop button on digitizer. So now I want to draw, continue drawing a box. So I'll take, I can take either point and you see these snaps that are going on. That has to do with Plan Swift's ability to snap to an endpoint. And that snap is set at the bottom of your screen where you see snap, ortho, freehand. 
that snap should be shaded showing that it's on so uh, if it's on you'll see it snap try to snap to a corner when it sees a corner so we're going to take any corner we're going to snap to it clicking once now we're going to hit the down arrow key we get another dialog box and i'm going to say 15 feet and because i used the down arrow key i do not have to hit an angle you see the angle is already there so it's kind of like knows which way to go and that's what angle does hit enter it went down 15 feet now i click on uh, the other endpoint and I did move the mouse a little bit, and it doesn't matter because we're going to tell it which way to go with the arrow key. Hit the right arrow key. I get that dialog box again, and I put in 25. It draws that, the third line. Now that I have those three lines going and I want to close in the box, I really don't have to use the dialog box anymore. I just click on an endpoint and click on the top endpoint. And I've made my box. That's simple. And that box can be used for uh, now using the plan swift tools on doing measurements. For example, if I click on area and I just say test, change my color to whatever I want it to be. I'll say lime green. I go OK. And because I'm still, I've got that snap set on. You see it snapping there? And I just snap in those corners and hit escape, and I'm done. And I've got a perfect rectangle, 375 square feet, exactly. It tells me the lineal total, which is the perimeter, 80 feet. The point counts four. There's four points to the box. Creating geometric shapes is just that simple. Um, let's say we want to use... You see this blue box down here. We want to use that for creating. In other words, we want to use the segment tool. We're drawing something that we want to calculate as a distance. So I already have a line set up uh, from doing it earlier. So I'm just going to click on this over here and tell it to make a new line. But it's the same procedure. I click the first point. Then I right arrow. 25, and I'm just going to work through it here. 15, left arrow, 25, and then I just close my box, escape, I'm done. And if I wanted to, I could show a label here, and it tells me I've got 25 feet. You probably didn't know that one, did you? All right. Now, Let's say I want to make a circle. Now, I will tell you the one thing that Dimension doesn't do is create arcs. Uh, hopefully, that they'll allow that in future. But right now, if you want to create an arc, you do have to use something like the Segment tool to do it. But we're going to show you really quick how to make an arc or a circle, for that matter. So we're going to erase this. So I'll show you how to do it. Now, it's kind of a two-part to make a circle. I do have to set up a dimension. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to dimension. I'm going to make a, a circle with a 25 foot diameter. So I'm going to just go over here, click. I'm going to go down and pick. We're going to change it to 20. There's a reason for that. So I made a line 20 feet long. I'm going to come back at the bottom. I'm going to go up 10 feet. I'm now going to take that middle. I'm going to go out 10 feet and take the other side and go out 10 feet and now I have a perfect cross it is a 20 foot vertical line and a 20 foot horizontal line so how do I make a circle after doing that simple I'm going to go and pick up my line my segment tool again just reuse it from the left side and I'm going to start on any of the endpoints so I'm going to start at this endpoint and I'm going to start dragging the mouse. And before, I could connect it to here, but that's not going to make a circle, is it? So now that I've got the mouse going, I'm going to press the A key, A for Apple, or A for Arc, on the keyboard, and watch what changes. Now it says on the mouse uh, label, click 
middle point of arc. My middle point is going to be this top. I click it once, and as I start to pull, oh, isn't that cool? I take, and to finish the arc, I need to get over to the right side. I click it, and I've created the top part of my arc, half the circle. To do this again, I continue, click, hit A again, click my midpoint, which is there, come around, click it, hit escape, I've got a perfect circle. And I can just now delete these dimensions, or I could come over here and hide them if I didn't want them to see it. Remember I taught you that. So now, and just like the box, I could take an area and fill the circle by using the arc tool as well when I'm drawing an area. And we're going to show you that uh, real soon when we start into our takeoff sessions. And the first session we're going to do is uh, how to do area and all the different options you can use in, in taking off areas. So that's our special request for today. How to use PlanSwift to draw a box or a circle. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to us and send us a request and we'll get it on the air. See you next time.